and welcome to Venture Cafe Presents. I'm Christine Dunn here at the Roxbury Innovation Center and joining me is Sherry Lassiter who runs MIT's um, Global Fab Lab and she is the president of the Fab Foundation. So thank you for joining me. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about why you wanted to be part of this Fab Lab. I'm going to call it a movement just because it really seems to be catching on mm -hmm. and how you see it fitting in a group like the Roxbury Innovation Center. So I came from television. Uh, I was a producer, writer, director for uh, documentaries, science documentaries, and um, I decided to, I, I was tired of telling the story, so I wanted to kind of become part of the story, and that's when I moved to MIT and found this project called Fab Labs, mm -hmm. and I, it was a, it was very early movement, in fact, uh, when you think about the maker movement, you've heard a lot probably about the maker movement, um, uh, the maker movement and the Fab Lab movement started at the same time, mm -hmm. uh, First Make Magazine had Fab Labs featured in it. So um, what I saw was this wonderful kernel of an idea that I thought, you know, this is going to be great and this is going to impact so many people in the world, both from an education perspective, an innovation perspective, uh, the ability for people to um, take, take, take take control of technology in their lives. And so I jumped onto the bandwagon and helped to build this network, which is now over a thousand labs That's in eight countries. Wow. Yeah, it's and just how long have you been doing this? How did you build uh, It's been about 15 years. Wow, a long time. And we started out with a National Science Foundation grant um, uh, that allowed us to, do, you know, it was a big grant for research, but the outreach proportion allowed us to put the first 12 fab labs in the world and since then all the fab labs in the world have come up with their own funding uh, you know in their own communities of their own design and that's what I think is really exciting because it's it's you know by for and of of the people so mm -hmm. to speak you know? so mm -hmm. what are some of the guiding principles that you hope each of these fab labs will follow so that they carry through that mission that you have mm -hmm. um, one thing is uh, uh, there, there are sort of four basic concepts that you have to follow or four, four, four things that you sort of have to buy into. One is that um, you don't do it in isolation. You collaborate and you share knowledge with others in the world, others in the network, others in the world. That you share the same tools and processes, the same basic capabilities with people all over the world. It's through that that we've built this network, this sort of accidental global infrastructure for, for, for prototyping and fabrication for the arts and innovation and education. And that, um, and that you subscribe to sort of our charter, which says, I will do no harm, I will share knowledge, you know, I can, I, can, um, I can protect my intellectual property, but at some point I want to pay back to my community, you know, those sorts of, uh, those sorts of principles. And so, you know, if you're, if you're guided by, you know, or buy into those three or four concepts, then, um, then we would accept you as a part of the network because that's very important to us. We're about democratizing access to the tools for invention, and so, and so that's very, very important. I see. Now, for the Roxbury Innovation Center in particular, what are your hopes for the Fab Lab here? Well, um, what what we see in other parts of the world, and I think this is really a beautiful place for this, is um, is multiple impact. One is, of course, in the entrepreneurial community. So you give people access to the tools, you help them learn how to prototype and make their own designs, and then in a place like the Innovation Center, you can begin to find uh, network and find the funding, et cetera, that you would need to actually start a business. So we really feel like the Roxbury Innovation Center is going to be a beautiful place for um, new and young entrepreneurs to, you know, to find new business opportunities or to create new business opportunities and new economic opportunity for the community. And then, um, and then of course, education. Um, uh, empowering young people, because we're right here next to the Boston Public Schools, you know, we're, uh, we're hoping that we can pull in that community, the, the young students, and, and give the, empower them not only for personal expression, but to take control of uh, sort of take control of the technology in their life and, and, and take control of the technology development in their life. So empower them to control and um, navigate their own technology. Well, well Sherry, mm -hmm. nice job. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. What Thank a pleasure. You for joining what fun me. to be here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate it. Okay, thanks. For the Venture Cafe Presents, I'm Christine Dunn.